Very good. Mm -hmm. Putting in some work with that soda bottle. It's my favorite sports drink. What are you talking about? Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker Episode 16, where the new update has just dropped. Um, it doesn't look like they've added a Class 7 ship yet to the certificate, but there is a new Gecko ship that we should be able to find. Let's make sure our equipment is well repaired. Ah, pretty, pretty darn close. And take a look at uh, what we got. Heavy cargo, station hopper, heavy cargo, heavy cargo. Mm, I don't think... Is there maybe one here? There it is, the Stargazer. That's what we're looking for. So it looks like they only have the Stargazer in Class 5. Um, that's okay. Maybe it will... And they've upgraded heavy cargo, light cargo. So no longer it just says... It says station hopper or light cargo. It doesn't say industrial or transport. Okay, but the Stargazer class ship is the new one. It is the Gecko class, um, the Gecko class um, science vessel. Uh, looks like it's uh, again not as worth as much money as the station hopper, or even maybe a little less than the heavy cargo, but. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to check it out and see what we got. They've also added in this update uh, better lighting inside ships, which we're going to go ahead and check out. And I think, honestly, for this time, Welcome to Vendetron 9000. Thank you for your let's get a couple Have utility a nice keys. I don't know if we'll need them, but I want to have them. Uh, they've added cut guards, so you can't just go and blaze your way through all the... slicing all the sections on the ship anymore. Some of them are protected. This is a solar battery. Okay, let's take our time here. Is a solar battery even on our list? It's funny, these aren't solar panels. I mean, these are solar batteries, but... Sensor array... Computer terminal, that's a communications array. Okay, we need some of those. Sensor array and a communications array. It appears to be attached. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Little tiny cut points. I see them. No. It's titanium. Oh, no, no, no. There they are. There they are. Oh, wow. Careful, careful. I wonder if it's necessary, though. I wonder if we could just throw the whole sensor array down into the barge and get credit for it. So I tell you what we'll do. Is we'll do that with one side. And, oh look, it's only got two two engines in the back. Okay. So we'll do that with one side, and then we'll see, but then we'll lose the work order if we don't. Let's, let's cut it. Let's cut this first one off. Because once a piece, and here's, here's the reasoning, is once a piece hits the barge, you can't interact with it again. It's sort of locked in place forever and ever. And... If it locks into the barge in a certain way that the communications array is sticking out of the barge, well, then that's that's tough luck. You know, you'll have to you'll have to go all the way down there to interact with it, and I don't think that's how we want to do it. So I think instead, I think instead we're just going to cut these off right here. Got to be pretty precise with this delicate science equipment, I'd imagine. I don't know what sort of value a communications array has, but we'll find out. Salvage 
deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Okay, so we got these solar batteries. But I don't see any solar panels. Oh, oh, what do we have down here? Sensor array. Sensor tower. Right, that's not the same thing. We can pull that off. Yeah, the sensor arrays are in the back. Okay. Well, let's go inside this ship. Let's see what we've got here. All right. Oh, the reactor's up front. Another communications array. And it's all pressurized. The whole ship looks pressurized, so let's keep that in mind. Airlock pressure levels dropping. All right. Airlock pressure levels increasing. Very interesting. So the airlock... Is there not a way in this room? I guess there is from the crawl space, it looks like. So here's the, uh, the ECU. Okay. Computer terminal. This does not look to be like one we can interact with. And what is this? Another. That's the uh, another comms array. All right. Well, let's go ahead. We can do a little bit of this work here with the oxygen still inside the ship. As long as we don't fully disconnect it, I don't want it floating around while we're still trying to figure that stuff out. All right. So it looks like this takes us to our crawl space. All right, aha, here we go. This is the new cut guard. If you try to hit this thing with a laser, it will burn for a long time, but not cut. And anything that's gonna burn for a long time is really going to give us, give us a headache. So it looks like we could peel some of this ship off the titanium keel That's awful close to that fuel tank. Ooh, just gotta be very careful and very specific. So as long as we're only only removing cut blocks on one side, we shouldn't um, sh shouldn't have an explosive decompression. Actually, we might. See, this is why I don't want to start cutting in here with the O2. Even though even though it's going to make our oxygen last a little bit longer. And look at this. Both of these pipes. I only see a coolant pipe, no. So there's the reactor pipe. And it cuts around this side. Okay. So it looks like the keel is attached to these cut guards. Yep, there's our power terminal. Look at that coolant array. We can make a couple of cuts, I think. A couple. This will be the flight station. Okay, for the most part, this doesn't look too cosmic. Uh, let's swing over to the flight station. Which was not pressurized. Ugh. Yep. Which flung debris into the computer station. Damaged our data pads. Electrical damage.
Okay, and now we're on fire up here. Yeah. Links recommends maintaining a safe distance from flammable items. Let's just go in. Let's grab this key. All right, we're gonna get out of here. Looks like a coolant tank ruptured. Yeah, we're hurt pretty bad, actually. Ugh, depressurized flight station. I thought when I pre-scanned it, everything was... What is this? Everything was pressurized. We have zero health, but we're still alive somehow. Hydroponics cabinet. Look at all these hydroponics cabinets. All right. We could end our shift and just deal with the loss. Mm. Deal with the loss of the money without... Yeah, I don't see a first aid kit even in the crew quarters. Okay, well... I think we just proceed, and if we have to eat the cost of a clone, then that's a lesson learned. I absolutely think we've wasted enough time getting to see this thing. Alright, well now that we've depressurized this whole ship, for better or for worse, let's start cracking the shell on this thing. Now, these cutting brackets... Got about five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. These cutting Don't brackets are vulnerable we to wrap. impact, so... Let's take something like this, right? And let's just try this. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, so that's, that's how you do it. Boom. Hold on. It's a foam, it's a heat resistant uh, foam, foam padding to protect the ship and it, uh, but it's weak against impacts. So we're just going to impact them all. Uh, do we need... I think we've got all the ones up top, so let's swing down here with our little trusty soda bottle. The soda bottle's putting in some work. I almost wish I just had a little hammer, and I could just walk up and just tap it with a hammer. Let's see if I can do it without... No. It's got to be thrown a little bit, it looks like. Okay, no, enough of that tether nonsense. Very good. <laughs> Putting in some work with that soda bottle. It's my favorite sports drink. What are you talking about? I think that's all of them, right? All right. So then let's start C. All you had to do is cut two pieces and that would have been an explosive decompression with a with an outer ship panel. Dangerous stuff. All right. Let's send some of these pieces to the processor, right? One, two, three, and four. None of them appear to have any sort of metallic cabling on them. Oh, but we are dealing with this sort of stuff here. Interesting. These are a little tough. Let's try to cut these with a with a saw cutter here and see how that works. I'd like to cut them up high if I could. Yeah, I think that's a better option. Ooh, they're heavy. All right, let's send them down with the tether. Same for you, down with the tether. And then watch yourself. 
Yeah, it seems to be faster to use a saw cutter for those pieces. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Let's see how many paneling or <laughs> nanocarbon paneling pieces we can wedge into the processor all at the same time. Boom. Very good. Okay. I think we'll do the same thing to the other side. Luckily, it looks like we only lost one, maybe two coolant tanks, and we still have coolant on our work order, which means we did not lose a critical amount of them. So that is good. We're getting down to the wire. All right. Let's put a bow on this ship. This is, this is the side with all the pipes, so we want to be a little careful of this stuff here. Let's watch that beam angling. Yeah, very much so. And the fuel tanks in the back. Let's let's watch it all, Thranxes, very, very, very carefully. Please and thank you. This one also appears to have no aluminum forges on it. Okay. Well, we can get some of these pieces tethered and then... Let's let's rise up here and let's let's cut some of these off just like this. Okay, and this one I think like that. Like you. And you're gonna go over there. Yep. Uh okay, well sure, it wasn't the best first shift. Um We lost a computer terminal and a wall terminal. Not really all that bad. And some aluminum structure that was negligible. Pretty solid. And we made half a mil. Okay. Could have been worse. It was our first time, but that's part of what we do here on this series. If you're new to the series, is we check out a ship blind the first time, and then we come back and we, we try to demonstrate mastery over it after we've done it a few times off camera. But the first time seeing it, we want to do all those all those for the first time in the series. How many uh, corrupted data pads did we get? Interesting. Alright, we're going to continue salvage. Yes. Because really, in order to get to in order to get to number 9 on our certificate rating, we need work orders. Money is a long-term goal, but short-term, really, work orders matter more. I know, I've sliced up an aluminum panel a little bit. I'm not super worried about that. Yeah, a little bit. It's not the end of the world. Alright, let's repeat our process over here. I wonder if there's a way we can get maybe like all four at once. Wouldn't that be swell? Ooh, did we do it? No, three out of four. Not bad, though. It's not not that bad, not that bad. Three out of four, still pretty darn good. Salvage okay, I think we need to pop up here to the top and start doing the same thing to the top coat. All right, the cutter is getting a little bit of damage. probably should have looked at repairing it in between shifts, but what's done is done. We're on shift now. So let's see. We do need to get these sensor arrays taken off. Now if I recall, these sensor arrays were really picky about the saw cutter not fully removing or exposing the metal underneath. 
So we're just going to use the uh, the needle cutter here. All right. See. And now it's going to fight with me. That's okay. We got it. Keep this keel intact. It's one less thing to float around and get in our way. All right. Watch out for the fuel tank. Very nervous making cuts back here by the fuel tanks. Oh, careful. Those reflected beams will cause damage to subcomponents of the ship, and that is how bad things happen. We don't want another incident like what happened on the flight station. Okay, the engines should also be coming loose, as we did use the utility key to flush the reactor fuel from the lines. Alright, we'll get the sensor arrays down there, and that'll complete that work order. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transfer. Alright, let's make sure we're lined up visible at the next point. Alright, I think that did it. I think we're ready to start peeling more layers off this uh, ship here. Let's go ahead and we'll get these back to. I can see in hindsight where the little foam, the foam uh, cut protectors would have been a little easier to manage once we peeled the outer layers off the ship, but it's okay. We exposed the keel one way or the other. Um, let's. This is too heavy for our for our grabbing tool to move, so we're just going to disconnect these coolant tanks carefully and slowly. And just let them free drift here for a moment. Yep, just like that. While we send this to the processor for, well, processing, of course. Goodbye, get out of here. Now, with the coolant tanks remaining, we're going to be very careful not to even spring a small leak because we need the coolant out of all of them to make our work order now. And our work order is the most important thing going currently for our next certificate rating. All right. Coolant work order completes. Very good. Are we still connected over here? We are, look at this. Well, let's fix that, shall we? All right, now that appears to have been resolved. Which of these panels is going to come loose? It looks like none of these panels want to act like they're cut loose, huh? Valuable object. Credits awarded. Let's just tether that one out of here. I'm fairly certain. Now hold on. If we. Because this is a gecko class, so we should be able to peel the engine section off like this. It's not going. Mm, I think the keel is holding it together. Let's let's break this keel off right here and see what that does. Uh, no. Um. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yep, we're getting some disconnection down here. It is the keel. Hold on. This says this is nanocarbon. No, no, no. So one part of it is nanocarbon, the other part of it is titanium. Either way, it's a processor piece. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. All right, it is in fact 
peeling the the end here off the engines the engines being or the thrusters I'm sorry the thrusters being incredibly delicate you can see that one yellow square means one little hit and it's down to its critical section of its health and uh, then we're gonna start losing value and possibly lose the unit because while we purged the lines of fuel the engines themselves still have fuel in them all right there's one thruster Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Let's continue with the second thruster. Beautiful. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Is this teal keel, titanium keel attached? It's like riveted to the... Ah ha! It sure is, isn't it? That's why it's peeling them both at once. Well, we want them separate, please, and thank you. Let's pull this right out of here, and in fact, I think we're going to use a tether, which I don't normally do with this piece, but we're going to fling it over that way, nice and fast. Get it out of here. There you go, nice and fast. All right. Starting to look like we uh, know a little bit about what we're doing. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's just ill-placed optimism. Your oxygen reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. All right, well, we're going to break apart the keel from the hull in every location all along these foam cut-resistant points. And then we're going to go get some O2 and some... Oh, tethers? Do we want... Is there a way maybe to use up our tethers before? Yeah, if we could use up some more of these Oxygen tethers before we go back, that would be really Please slick. Contact your plan administrator to add asphyxiation coverage. All right. Caution. Tether supplies are low. Valuable object Look at that. 2,050 two kilograms of nanocarbon. That's... That's goodness. All right, stop breathing so heavy. My goodness. Oxygen level stabilizing. Breathing really heavy when we know that oxygen's low. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do that. I'm just saying. All right, Cutter, you got five minutes left to this ship. Five we'll minutes. They always want to stop me when I am start having a good time and getting into the swing of it. Let's send the rest of these pieces over here to the processor. What is this on the side of it here? It says it's just a nanocarbon attachment. Fair enough. Alright, now that these have disconnected... Let's see, fuel is on our work order list. Alright, so let's remove some fuel. Mm, I don't like how the barrels tip and tilt as soon as they disconnect. I think that's... Oh! Easy does it there. No! Alright. Let's steady up, shall we? Okay, that one disconnected like the coolant tanks nice and easy. I'm not sure what the difference is. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. All right, so we haven't got the reactor, but we are going to make some good money on this shift. <gasps> oh! See? What happened? I barely... That blew up the thruster cap? Oh! Gosh darn it. That's a huge piece of nanocarbon just gone to waste. Well, what what can we do? There's no there's no point crying over broken nanocarbon panels. We just need to throw as many as we can into the processor. Of course, some pieces are still going to end up in the furnace, I'm sure. There's not much we can do about that. <clears throat> um 
let's see if we can. No, this is too, too much. This is too much. All these pieces are just too large, uh, or, or this piece is too large. All these little pieces are too numerous. Let's let's just pull this piece over here. And try to keep it connected without it getting pulled into the furnace, I think. Which, it is starting to get pulled into the furnace, and we don't want that, so hopefully... Nope, it's going to get lost to the furnace. And that's why I normally pull them up a little higher. But I'm a little bit on tilt. Okay, so we got one, we lost the other. It's a full loss when it gets pulled into the furnace. There's no part of that that back half that's that's worth anything in the furnace it's a full full destroyed piece all right I bet uh, let's see now this is all gonna be attached yeah This is going to be one of those things that we can cut here. And send this aluminum plate to the furnace, and that'll be about it. The rest of this is airlock. It's going to be stuck there for a hot moment. So what do we have? Nine computer terminals, one class two reactor, and one power Long generator ready, left. Cutter. Time to start wrapping things up. We wrap. Well, the power generator is fairly easy. Um, is there a way to... No, that is that is totally connected to the... Alright. Power generator is fairly straightforward and simple. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. The reactor is... Close to being removed. Um, we're likely going to need one more shift to really do this thing justice. Um, but actually, I, I almost think we might need two more shifts if we want to salvage all the stuff in the in the middle. But we don't have a work order for that. So if we're just going for the work orders, ah, 4.8 mil, that's not bad. And we're just going for the work orders, and we're not going to try and take apart the entire inside of the ship, then we still need 50 more work orders. Yeah, we're almost there in the credits. The work orders are what we need to do, because then, then we can get all of the level 9 upgrades for each piece of equipment, and there are quite a few. Better thrusters... Um, a stronger or longer range grapple. We can buy our own grapple, cut back on those rental costs, longer range cutters, and heat capacity. That doesn't really have much. Better O2 recharge in inside pressurized environment. Yeah, so let's just we'll keep it in the same episode. Let's go back. Let's finish the work orders. And then I think we'll call it. So we need the reactor, metal, and nine computer terminals. Alright, well the reactor is a pretty straightforward thing to take apart. And I don't think... Do we even need to disconnect all of these keel items here? Or can I just say, you need to go over there. Let's see what that does. It should take the whole... the whole thing. No! No! Oh, to the processor with you! Oh, I thought it was going to the furnace. I was like, not the entire titanium keel! That, uh, that had me worried a little bit. That was only 400... Only 400 kilograms, and we need 12 thousand kilograms. Oh no, it was 400 per section. Okay, that was actually a good bit of metal that added up there. 
Let's see, have we learned our lesson? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're going to do the same thing just because it saves time. And that's what being a salvage operator at Lynx is about, right? Doing things that maybe are a little risky, but ultimately save time. At that point, it's safely over the threshold. That's going to the processor. I don't even have to look or worry about it anymore. Now, the reactor. We've flushed out the fuel lines. And we've removed the power generator panel. Let's get rid of these um, aluminum, this uh, aluminum structure frame here. Because I think if we get rid of these, it will allow us to disconnect this whole piece. No, it won't. There's one more structure frame going on in there. Well, we're going to break right through the window here. And there it is. That's the piece we want. Okay. Because this is actually a reasonable amount of metal here where the power generator attaches. All right, so let's let's pull it down. Mm, if I have to get rid of this, ooh, let's not hit that coolant pipe. We're not ready for that yet. <laughs> All right, let's pull this down. Nine computer terminals and some metal are fairly easy and we'll have the reactor in no time. All right, so that's that's over half our metal requirement. We're we're getting there. We're doing all right. The ECU not on our work order list. A little shocking, um, but but still a necessary component to disassemble to get to the reactor, and it's worth a lot of money. So we'll definitely be sending it to the barge. Got to remember to let go with your grapple tool before picking up the item. Okay, there we go. And now the reactor is going to melt down. Let's disconnect it. What? What? Uh huh. Hmm. I know for a fact we had a lot of time left on that reactor meltdown. Oh, the devastation. What the heck had happened to it? And look, the case is still intact? What the heck? I don't think that's... Yeah, look, it shot right out of the tank. It just... The whole thing just... Mm. <laughs> How fun. Look at the wreckage that used to be... Used to be this science vessel here. It knocked sections, it knocked whole sections out of the ship. Shrapnel everywhere. All right, well, we're going to need some of these metal panels now that we don't have to worry about a reactor. Man, that was our, that was our big ticket item too. Okay, well, what's done is done. Our fault or not. It happened. Let's uh, let's get the ECU down to the barge. There could be a change in how reactors handle having all of their all of their stuff disconnected. If so, we might have to relearn how to take out the reactors. But I feel like the health bar for meltdown was pretty full. So who knows? Could have just been a small glitch or error. All right, let's let's get the ECU actually going in the right direction, please. Please and thank you. There we go. Come on, you could do it. 
computer terminals. Well, we're going to start with this one. And that's going to hit an array, but we still got credit for it. Okay. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Ugh, look at this. It's devastation back here. I'm surprised any of this is still in, in any kind of shape to do anything with. All right, let's just melt this panel here completely. Give ourselves an easy out to... No! The whole panel, please. Oh! I don't know if you can cook these panels anymore like you used to. Ugh. Cutting tool overload detected. Look at that. You the used to oh it, cause it's a full size Remember, panel. A healthy cutter Ugh. is a productive cutter. Yeah, alright, alright. Well we learn Normally you you, you learn it takes one time to learn a lesson. We had to learn it twice. <laughs> That's all there is to that. A little toasty in here, is it just me? Ugh. Gosh. Alright, we do have computer terminals here in the back, which are going to be much easier to get than the ones on the flight station. So... Let's let's use these whenever possible here. Table. They're going to have personal, yep, personal computer terminals on their sleeping quarters. So we'll grab those. Oh! And it hit an antenna or a scrap of... Oh, man. That's what happens. You start getting all this salvage floating around. Come on, now. You start getting all this shrapnel just hanging out. And it's, it's all little stuff to bang into your delicate electronics to prevent you from getting credit for them. Oh, no, pers personal terminals don't count. Look at that. Okay, well... This fuel pipe is getting out of here. You are in my way. Adios. I no longer wish to see you. I wonder if we can cut both of these at once. Yeah, that's what I should have done, right? Line up here like this, and then we'll just cut one, two, and then immediately cut the next one, and four. And send it right to the furnace. I think it's gonna fight with me a little bit, but we'll win. Material deposited. We always do, because I just don't know how to give up. Look at these very long panel paneling sections. It's 814 kilograms Carter, you got five of minutes metal. left in this shift. Knock out that work order before they turn the lights out on you. Okay, this is a computer terminal. We actually want this to go to the barge. This is what we want. This is what the this is what corporate's asking for. Salvage deposit accepted. What is this Credit still connected to? It's just a hot mess back here. Look at this. It's so... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Another another personal storage in there. It broke free. Okay. Eight hundred and fourteen kilograms. That's going to put us close. Close. We're getting there. I'm just going to detach all these storage containers because I, I am not coming back for a third shift. If we don't get these work orders, we just don't get them. 
That one just says object. That's funny. It's some sort of object, sir. Storage bin. Okay. You know what? I wonder if it's better in this circumstance. No, 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 no. Because these have, like, joints. Yeah, joists. They're not... They're not as clean cut out as the square panels are. These rectangle panels actually have a lot of different connectors. Because they have... They have one here, one here, and then the one in the middle. So you end up having to make six, six needle cuts per side. It's just not worth it. Not for the little bit of metal that you save. So much of this is making determinations about what is worth your time and energy and what is not. Deposit accepted. Alright, that... Well, we can't focus on both work orders so much that we miss them both. Let's... Let's get the computers, although it looks like that's exactly what we're going to do. Son of a gun. Um... Warning. Your oxygen reserves are dropping below statistically profitable levels. Alright, I know. I hit some power cell or something back there. I don't really care. Yeah, I know. I can hear the secondaries. We're just gonna ignore them. Stuff is really, really popping off back there. It's this ladder, isn't it? You're going away. Can I move you now? Thank you. Send you to the furnace. Warning. Oxygen reserve. All right. This uh, this ship is a little tricky. I didn't think it was going to be that difficult to move from one gecko to another, but... Well, that... And... And it was all of the... All of the cutting cutting insulated foam sections. Those, those definitely made life a little tricky. Let's... Let's secure our metal panel first. That's what we need to do. No, 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 What am I doing? I looked right at the process. Oh, because I'm in a rush. That's that's how they get you. That time crunch is is very much where the mistakes come in. Yep. All right, let's try it again. We're going to, at the very least, get... Oh, no. It's connected by storage containers and such, yeah. There it is. There it is. Five computer terminals. I don't know if it's going to happen. Deposit accepted. Oh, that wasn't enough metal. Oh, no. Okay, so it looks like we are going to come back for a little bit more. <laughs> For what? For 60 seconds of work, we're going to come back. Um, I mean, we need the work orders. Okay, alright. Fast as can be. Just one metal panel and four computers. We've got this. We've got this. At least you notice the, the metal panels on this ship, most of them are these broad rectangular panels. And uh, and I think it's it's interesting because you can't needle cut those, at least we can't with our current heat capacity. I almost wonder if that was done on purpose. Maybe, maybe not. Ugh. We should lose our certification for this ship. Our supervisor comes in like, what the heck have you done? Material deposited. 
That's scrap. That computer's not even working. So there's four more computer terminals we need to send to the barge. Three more. This says scrap. This one this one got cooked. Alright, let's go up front here and look. What is going on? Where are our term computer terminal? Computer terminal. That's two. I don't necessarily see a third. Unless it's hanging out in one of these roof sections. But with all these explosions, I can't imagine that being the case. I'm sure that it's... See, it says scrap. I guess we could send it down to the barge just to see, but if it says scrap, they're not going to count it as an intact computer terminal. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. Okay, it was one of the uh, one of the desk computers. Must have broke loose in an explosion. Okay, so now we just have to we just have to get these out of here, nice and easy. Oh, that's nanocarbon. Oh, son of a gun! All right, so then we're just gonna have to extract these nice and easy, and not bang them up off of everything, and just just sort of good shape here. Alright, there's one. Alright, there we go. Last computer terminal. We got this. Come on. Alright, and that's all the work orders complete. So that was our first look at the Stargazer. We only did it on a... Uh, the class five. Work order is now we were not able to get one on the class six. Hopefully the next one we do will be class six, and I'll bring you back after I've had a little bit of time to to, to do this Thank you for your Thank you for your off camera and get a little better at um, understanding how to make how to make quick work of these foam heat resistant cutting panels, and that's going to be a monetary loss actually. But we did get our work orders done. Until next time, take care.